Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Leo. This is going to be where you are currently at on your spiritual journey. All the information that you need to book a personal reading is going to be down below, and all the special announcements will be said at the end. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So let's start off with we are officially in Leo season, so happy birthday to all the Leos out there. I'm definitely seeing because the sun is in your sign, you guys are really feeling yourself in this time. Okay, and you guys have some haters out there that want you to dim it down because they feel like you're just shining way too bright. They want you to tone it down and I see these people's eyes are green with jealousy here. But it's like you can't help just being your majestic self. I see you guys as this beautiful, graceful gazelle. Okay, you guys are very enchanting, mesmerizing in this time. And for those of you who write intentions and manifest, I'm seeing something that you guys tried to manifest during the Aquarius new moon in February. I see whatever you tried to manifest is coming into fruition by the Aquarius full moon that's coming up. And because the sun is in your sign right now, I just see, like I said, you guys are really feeling yourself. You guys are very high vibrational. And because you're high vibrational, I see you guys are picking up higher vibrational frequencies. I also see you guys could have tried to manifest something during the Leo full moon that we had in Aquarius season. And I see this manifestation is going to be brought to fruition during the Leo new moon this month. So I see this as a magical month of manifestations coming in for you. And like I said, I definitely see there's somebody around you that is like really jealous. And I see this person is wanting to steal your shine. But you have such a strong connection to the divine that you know nobody can take that away from you. And for some of you, you could have a jealous person that is around you. And I see this person really jealous of your Leo season glow up right now. And I see this person is thinking that they're hiding their jealousy. But again, like they're not. You see right through it. You guys are picking it up. You guys are very clever, very wise, and very intuitive in this time. And they can't hide from you. And for a lot of you guys, this Leo season, I'm just really feeling that you guys are just really wanting to, like, celebrate yourself. You're really wanting to celebrate all that you have accomplished. I definitely see this past year could have been pretty rough for you guys. And again, I'm just feeling really strong that you guys are really just wanting to celebrate yourself. And again, like, all that you have accomplished. It's like you guys are ready to give yourself a big pat on the back. And then it's like, I see someone over here that's, like, mad that you're doing that. They're mad that you are celebrating yourself. They are mad that you love yourself. Because I see this person is still on their dark night of the soul. And misery loves company. And for some of you, I see this person is trying to get close to you to sting you. And it's like you guys already know the vibes with this person. I see this person is wanting to get you like trapped in their web here. Again, because misery loves company. They're stuck and they want you to be stuck too. And again, like they're mad that you're not stuck. They're mad that you're celebrating and loving yourself. But like I said, you guys have already been through it. You've earned this celebration. I see you guys celebrating all that you've been, all that you are, and all that you are becoming. And it just really like kind of triggers this person. But you guys are so in alignment and you guys know that you are the master of your own destiny. You guys know you are the weaver of your own story. So I see you're not gonna dim your light for anybody. You're not gonna shrink yourself to make this person feel more comfortable. I see you guys are honoring yourself. You guys are honoring your divinity within. Again, because you guys have earned it. I definitely see you guys have climbed this very spiritual mountain. And it's like when you guys got to the top, you had to go in this dark, scary cave and face your inner demons. And when you did that, you lit up your own darkness. And that lit up the darkness of this cave. You guys found the divinity that is within you. And again, I'm just saying you're really just wanting to celebrate yourself. You're wanting to celebrate that light that is within you. Definitely go check out the Aries reading because they have like a strong similar vibe going on. It will definitely give you extra information on your situation. You can be dealing with an Aries, have Aries in your chart, or be dealing with someone who has Aries in their chart. But definitely go check that out. But I definitely see this as triggering a hater here. And that's only because they are still on their dark night of the soul. They have yet to face their own demons, their own darkness within. This person is still in darkness and they want you to be in darkness too. And instead of like combating this person with like their own energy, with their own negativity or hate, you guys forgive this person because you can see that this person is just projecting their own insecurities and traumas onto you. 
and you acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love because you are a limitless being and you are connected to the abundant source of love and light, the creator. Okay, like I said, you guys know you have a very strong connection with the divine. So like I said, you guys are having forgiveness for this person because you guys have empathy. You see both sides of the situation. And again, like you know this person is just projecting on you. So I don't see where you're going to let this person stop your shine, especially during this Leo season. So keep celebrating yourself because you guys have definitely earned it. Okay, so some signs that popped up in here. I see Virgo, Leo, Taurus, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because me and my mom made some really cool space face masks. So if you guys like space, planets, and constellations, they come in a pack of two and the link is going to be down below. And I changed my menu for personal readings, so all the information that you need to book one is also going to be down below. And make sure to go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also go check out my Instagram at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, I share channeled messages, all that good stuff. And if you guys are interested to see what decks I use for this reading, they're also going to be listed down below. And keep being great. I'll see you next week. Bye!